Welcome to the tutorial of how to build this uh, spooky little house. Uh, it's a long one, so you better grab yourself a drink, maybe even some food, and uh, then uh, you're gonna gather up all the blocks you need for this build. Okay, we're first gonna start off with a row of five stairs. And in the middle, I'm going to count uh, wool blocks with you guys. It's going to be nine of them. And uh, from there, we're going to make the sacrifice bit you saw in the middle. So nine blocks away, you can remove all the other blocks. But you dig a hole behind the wool and the ones on the side next to it. So you have like a hole in the middle and uh, the shroom lights around. Now, in the middle, you're actually going to make the hole like uh, too deep. And then you're going to place first the shroom light, then lava, and then, of course, a honey block on top. If you haven't turned a fire tick yet, I uh, would definitely do that, else everything will burn down to the ground. Then we go back to the beginning. We actually place the deep slate tiles like two blocks high. So we're going to use the upper block to place the slabs against. And on the other side, you place a full block. Of course, uh, please remove the up top on the other one. If we go to the back, uh, behind the full blocks, we actually place another block of the tile. And then we do two blackstone bricks on top. And of course, we also do that on the other side. Then we fill up the space between them with, again, slabs of deep slate tiles. What we're then going to do is we're going to make the overhang a little bit. So we're going to place the stairs first facing the front, then facing the back, full block facing the front, facing the back. And then we do it one more time on the other side. Don't forget to put two full blocks on the end and repeat the process of placing a stair upside down. Then you place a temporary block slab on the bottom side, place a temporary block on the other side, so we again can place a slab there. Now, if we want to have a full block in the middle, we can just place it, but we don't, so we actually need to make uh, the one of the slabs a full block, so we can actually uh, place the slab against it. Now you're gonna hop down, and then you're gonna place a block one lower at the end, and you repeat the process. Then you're going to go down to the whole bottom and you're going to use stripped spruce wood until you re reach one block away from the shroom light. Then you do the same on the other side. So now you're going to make a pillar eight high of deep slate bricks. And then we're going to use to also put a black stone slab against the pillar at the stair. And we're also going to copy that over to the other side. But we are also going to do that on top. So it's the same with all the blackstone at height level. Okay, so we're going to start off with placing dark oak planks on each side. And then we're going to fill that up with uh, dark oak plank slabs in the middle. After that, we're going to place a cracked brick to the side, a slab of cobbled deep slate, and then, of course, another cracked or just a normal one, what you prefer. And then we're going to pull out the wood to the other side. And there we're going to do some upside down stairs so you get this figure. Then you're going to place two full blocks with deep slate tiles on the side. And uh, you're going to place three full planks three slabs and then again full plaques and after that you're gonna repeat this pattern to complete off your flooring and on the other side you make this pattern then you go here to the corner and you pillar up uh, seven times And it should be just as high as you had with the deep slate bricks. And then you're going to place a block behind it and again pillar up seven. And 
then you do that again. And again. And then at the edge here, you place stripped dark oak wood all up to the top next to it. Then you're gonna go to the back and place deep shade tiles against the deep shade tile. So two white, the one on the inner needs to be five high, the outer one needs to be a seven. And then you can jump down again. Then against the dark oak wood planks, you're gonna place two deep slate bricks. Then you're gonna pillar up one at the side. And then you're gonna pillar up with the tiles until you're five blocks higher than the floor. You're gonna jump down and you're gonna place a row of three by three with the deep slate tiles. And then place two more blocks on the right side of the build. Then place three slabs behind the other wall and behind that place three full blocks. And that row with a smooth deep slate block and a pillar up seven times. Now watch carefully where I put the wool block because it's actually not on the hole next to it. And then uh, you place the smooth stone there again and you pillar up. To make things a little bit easier, add another block on top of both of these. Then make a pillar with uh, deep slate tiles and uh, go one less so it's seven high. Then do that again, one more to the right to the front. Just like you see me doing here. You jump down. You place a temporary block behind the pillar and then you pillar up again. Then you can place your temporary block on the same place again and you can actually pillar up on the other side. So you actually have like a little U shape. And then you make another row above the hole next to that one. Now we're gonna go to the outside. Where we're first gonna place two deep slate tiles and then we're gonna switch uh, to the deep slate bricks and we're gonna pillar up to that same height. Then we're gonna go to the other side of the structure and we're going to repeat the process. And behind this tower, we also place a full row of deep slate tiles. Against this row, we're going to place another row going up. And then you can jump down to place a temporary block next to it. And then pillar up with the deep side tiles again. But make it one less high. Then just like on the other side, one inward, you again make another row of deep side tiles going up. And place a temporary block next to it and then go again up to the height of all the other pillars. Then place two dark oak slabs against the wood uh, next to it. Make sure it's on the wood height. Then you can place another temporary block on the corner and against it on the outside you can pillar up again and make it as high as the other towers. Then place a temporary block against the dark oak wood slab and build her up with a dark stripped oak and towards the height of the rest. Then place a trapdoor against the inside bottom and then you can place five dark wood oak slabs against it. To create the same shape on the other side, place down a wool block on the ground and just build her up. This time, Pillar up one higher and also add one on the other side. So these are one higher than the deep slate tiles. Then fill the space between them with dark oak slabs. Then go to the side and again place a seven deep slate tiles high. Then jump down, place a temporary block next to it and above the gap, pillar up again with the deep slate tiles. And then repeat this process one more time. Do 
Then we're going to switch to deep slate cobble blocks and you're going to place the pattern down you see here. Behind that, uh, we're going to fill it up with uh, full blocks. So it actually looks like it's slowly going up. And just pause the video if you want to see how that looks. Uh, you can add a little bit more of a slab above it, just like you see here. And, and then you go to the other side and you actually recreate this pattern that you see here. Now you can place a block uh, on the other block, just like I do here, or you can just fill it up underneath. That's also fine. Now you're going to place two more full blocks against the wood. And uh, that's how you did your terraforming. Then we're going back to the other side. We're actually going to build the outside. You can see I placed one block against the cobblestone deep slate. And then I went one out and nine blocks further along. Then I want you come back to come back to this corner and make it two by four zigzag. And we still have some openings left and there we're going to do a cobblestone deep slate and against the wood we're going to do the tiles. And then on the other side of the long row we're going to place three deep slate tiles. In the corner we're going to place a row of five uh, deep slate tile bricks. And the best way to do it is, is uh, to just make it two or three high and then pillar up next to it. Because the row next to it with uh, uh, the tiles will also be five high. Then you jump down and one more towards you, you pillar up again at the same height. You will add one block to the one you're standing on and the one you were standing on previous. And on the current one, we also place a deep slate stair facing towards you. Then you are, are gonna go to the corner here and you're gonna place uh, two deep slate tiles, a shroom light on top, and then orange stained glass on top of that. Then you jump down and you go one to the right and towards you uh, where you're gonna make the wall two by three. This also means I wanna have the same pattern on the other side, but there we are only gonna be a two by two. Then we're going back uh, to the corner we were earlier working on. Where we're going to place two deep slate tiles in the corners and one at the outside. The first one we're going to pillar up to the height of the other tiles. On the second one we do the same, but then the top one we actually do a deep slate uh, tile stairs that's looking towards you. With the last one we go three up before we're also going to place the stair. And then we're going to add a full block one behind it, so you can place it against the stair next to it. Now that that's done, I want you to come back to the side where you're going to place a temporary block in the middle. So you can place a two by three with the deep slate bricks. You're going to place upside down stairs of these against the deep slate tiles and on the outer edge. Then against the deep slate tile in the back, you can again place a stair upside down. Then I want to make, uh, let you make a U-shape on uh, the stairs and the blocks in the middle. And then you can place it upside down the stairs against the side that's facing towards you. And add one that's looking to the side. Then repeat the process on the other side. So basically everything is in. Then add two more stairs on the front. 
Then here we're gonna place the upside down deep side stair and then we're gonna go to the inside where we're gonna place a row of dark oak slabs that's one higher than the previous one. Then in this little corner you place the deep slate brick and you keep placing these blocks on the outer line you have now of the deep slate bricks. So watch carefully. Now you have done that, come back to the front and place again two stairs upside down. Place a deep slate tile against the wood, place another brick on the brick, and then next to it, place upside down brick stair against it. So you have like a gap in between the tiles. Then place two upside down stairs, a full block behind it, another upside down stair, and then start using three blackstone blocks and repeat the process on the other side with the normal deep slate bricks and deep slate brick stairs. Now on the inside we can do another row that's uh, one higher with dark oak wood slabs and then we can do another one and then we can fill up the rest. Then we can go back to this corner and we can again place two uh, tiles on the tiles. One brick on the brick with a black stone brick on top of it and a normal deep side tile block behind it. Then you place a deep slate tile in the corner with a deep slate stair on top of it, deep slate brick before it, and upside down stair next to it. Then we place a black stone like a curve on the outer edge. And then we repeat the process on the other side. Now it's time to add the iron bars, which we're going to do on these places and they're going to be three high. So now we're going to move on uh, to the right side next to where we were just working and you're going to lay down this pattern. You can fill up the diagonal spots with also the cobble, but remember that at the end I do want to have you have a deep side tile. Place some slabs on uh, the back one and then one high. And then at the beginning place a full block, you can place a temporary block uh, behind it or before it. So you can place another full block on the side and then you can fill it up underneath with again another block. Where we first place a deep set tile, you can place another one. And of course on the gap we still have, you can also place another one. If you go stand on a corner, you can place a full block behind you and also place a block on the other deep slate. Uh, tile you place plus one uh, towards you. Then on top place a shroom light. Then lean to the side and add two more deep side tiles. And then on the free side of the shroom light also add uh, deep, two deep side tiles but make this uh, one higher than the previous one. Way. Then add a stair to the one in the corner and then add four blocks on top of these. Then you can jump down again. And a pillar up so you can just place the deep slate brick there into uh, the little hole you have. 
And then you can place a deep shade tile against it. And then you can uh, pull her down. That's, yeah, a little bit different. Now there might still be a little hole down there. So try to fill it up just with the deep slate tiles. That uh, looks just a little bit uh, cleaner. Then you go up again, add one, a deep slate tile. And a stair. Then a two full blocks so that you can fill it all up and one next to it. And against it, you can place another shroom light. With, of course, yellow, uh, orange stained glass on top. Place a stair next to it. Place a full block in the gap and one towards you. Then a pillar up uh, too high. And uh, again, on the place previous, pillar up too high. And then lastly, place one full block on top of the stair. And repeat the process with the pillar next to it. And uh, the pillar behind the deep slate bricks. Now you're gonna come uh, towards the back. Here you're gonna place deep side tiles walls against the four above. Uh, leave a gap and then again place four. In between them you place orange stained glass. So you have like a cross shape and in the middle you do again a wall on top of a wall and uh, underneath a wall. So it looks like this. Then underneath that you do the normal bricks on the outside, the wall in the middle. And last row, upside down stair in the middle, and the outer sides are normal stairs, but then of deep slate tiles. Then you go to the top and place two bricks on the outer walls, in between them another wall and a deep slate stair on top of that. So we now have like a round shape. Then we're gonna make this pattern again with the cobbled uh, deep slate. Then you're going to the side of it and you're actually gonna build up three blocks with the tiles. Place one on the cobblestone next to it and then place one higher against uh, the deep side tile bricks across from it. And add three full blocks on top of that. Then jump down and place a shroom light on the pillar of three and place orange stained glass on top of that. Then place a full tile against the shroom light and a stair facing you next to the orange stained glass on top of the tile. And then add two more normal blocks. Then go down and place two blocks next to the tower and place one more block towards you away from that tower. Place a deep slate tile underneath in the corner and place an upside down stairs towards you with a full block on top. Then take a step back and also place an upside down stair against that block. And place the bricks underneath the dark oak wood. Then you're gonna place an upside down brick stair like this. A black stone brick morphs towards you. And yeah, you see the pattern that I have here. Then the third one underneath on the right side, I actually wanted you to place a deep slate tile. So you can actually place the deep slate brick stairs like uh, upside down against it. Against that same deep slate tile, I want you to place a upside down deep slate stair. And then one behind you can place two more deep slate tiles. And now you can fill up the gaps with deep slate tiles, but make sure the one most towards you is an upside down stair. Now place a deep slate stair upside down on the right side and repeat the process on the left. Then place two bricks on the inside. Against these, you can place two upside down black stone stairs. And in the middle, just place a normal stair again. So it should look like this. Then we place a brick on the side with the upside down stair against it and we repeat it on the other side. We place blackstone bricks, blackstone bricks and we place a grey concrete block in the middle. 
Then we repeat that, but we place the stairs like we normally do. And you can fill up the gap behind so you don't fall in. Now you're gonna put stairs on the black stone bricks that are gonna be black stone and you're gonna place the, the normal brick stairs in the middle. Put a shroom light in the middle behind it and then fill up that last row with bricks. Then place orange stained glass on top of the shroom light. Place black stone bricks next to it and next to that two normal brick stairs. Then place a normal brick on top of the glass. Place a black stone stair next to it and replace the block in the corner with just the brick. And place a tile stair on the outside. Now next to the deep side tile, you can place two more deep side tiles, but then you're gonna place the black stone stair there. So it's not the same as on the other side. However, you do end up with another brick on the end. Then we're gonna place the black stone bricks on the a black stone stair and on the deep slate tile and we're gonna place a normal brick in the middle and on the side against the tile we're gonna place a brick and on top of the black stone we're gonna place the black stone stairs again so now we're gonna go back to the unfinished corner on the left place a tile against the shroom light and place a tile against the tiles on the other side on the same height level. Now place two smooth deep slate walls, one against the tile we just placed and one against the smooth blocks. Against the shroom light, place a smooth block. On the other wall on the outside, you place a deep slate tile and you pillar up that row for two blocks. The two rows on the left it can actually be one higher the last one it needs to be a stair that's uh, gonna be facing towards you behind this stair place a full block so now we have done this corner outside we're gonna do the other corner that's still left this is actually a copy of the other side so what we're gonna go against the bricks we're gonna place the deep slate tile walls Five high and of course the normal deep slate tiles against it. And then we're going to jump off onto the couple deep slate where we're going to pillar up seven blocks. Now you're going to jump it down again and again in the corner on the, uh, on the couple place a tile and then place one to the right and pillar up there until it's two lower than the one next to it. Then jump down again and place a tile against the three pillar you have in the corner. Now place one tile on the block so that everything is like equal. And then I want you to place a shroom light on top. Place two full blocks on the outside of the shroom light and place one diagonally of the last one you've placed against the other wall. Then place the stained glass, of course, on top of the shroom light. A stair on the block next to it and fill up the other ones with full blocks. And then add a row of blocks too high on top of these. So now it should look like this. Then in the corner next to the old shroom light we just placed, you place another one and you again place, of course, the glass on top. This is stair facing you next to it. And then place a full block against the other side of the glass. On your left, you should have a pillar of two high where you can also place a shroom light and place glass on top. Also place a full tile block against it and a stair on top. And then place normal tile blocks on the blocks next to it that are not the same height. Then you jump down again and place an upside down stair here in this corner and fill it up with normal blocks. That means you're done with the outside of this layer. Now you're gonna go inside the building and place two soul sand blocks at the corners you have at the entrance. Do some nether wood on top and some spruce uh, trap doors on the side. Against the wood on the left side of the building, we also place two of the trap doors. 
And then we go to the fireplace where we're gonna place an upside down stair against the tile. Then we're gonna do that again, but one higher and then one lower. And above the last one, we fill it up with deep slate tiles. In the back, we close it off with deep slate tiles. Then you can place a campfire in the back and some iron bars in front. Then opposite of this, I want you to place a pattern of bookcases against the deep slate tiles. Uh, you don't have to use this one. You can also use uh, the new ones where you can put in your own books. But make sure to have a bookcase in the right corner. Against that right corner, I want you to place an upside down stair. So you can still see a little part of the books. Then I want you to skip a block and place again an upside down stair. Then I want you to go to the corner of the smooth blocks. On the right side, I want you to pillar up five high with the trapdoors and then close them. Now place some trapdoors in between so they look like shelves and you can put stuff on top of them or underneath. Uh, then we're going to the corner where we're gonna set some blast furnaces with a smoker in the corner. You can see this a little bit as a trash can. Now place uh, trapdoors all around this so it looks a little bit neater. You can add ingredients around this or maybe even a brewing stand so it looks like you're actually making potions. Now let's go back to the sacrificing pit where we're gonna add two uh, cobblestone slabs on top of the cobblestone and in the corner we're gonna place a full block. This way you can still walk out of it but it looks a little bit more dangerous. Now it's kind of hard to see but I want you to take the black paints and pillar up next to the hole. Unlike what you see only make it six high. Then you do the same thing on the other side, but that one does need to be seven high. Then I want you to fill up the gap with a temporary block. Place a dark oak plank against the smooth block on the left side. Then place a temporary block underneath and then place a spruce slab on the top side of that block towards the bubble elevator. Then you go to the other smooth pillar and place the dark oak wood plank against it, but on the inside towards the elevator, place one more. Then also place one on the stair you previously placed. Now place water on the top and place some kelp so you can actually make your bubble elevator. After you have full water source blocks, you can replace the temporary block with soul sand. So your bubble elevator actually works. So now we have an easy way up. You can start in the corner that I'm showing here by placing an upside down spruce stair against it and then pillar out five times with uh, spruce slabs. Then at the other corner where you just placed the stair, you're gonna bring out the dark oak wood stair and you place it against uh, that wall. You do the same on the other side. And then you also do the same on the other side with the spruce stair and the spruce slabs. Then next to you uh, at the stripped wood, you're gonna place an upside down stair against it. And then you're gonna place a normal slab on the side. Now we're going back to work on the outside of our building. This is the side of the bubble elevator. You're gonna place a shroom light here in between those blocks and then you're gonna hop down. On the deep side tiles on the right side, like three blocks lower, you actually need to place another shroom light and of course a stained glass on top. Against this stained glass, place a stair of the tiles. On the other side, place a full block against the glass. Now around it, fill it up with deep slate tiles. Cover the smoke with another shroom light and make sure you have a row of three diagonal deep slate tiles. Then against the shroom light, you're going to place a deep slate tile block, then two normal bricks and then again a deep slate tile. Now you have a little hole in the left corner. 
I want you to fill that up with a normal brick. And then I want you to circle back around the left corner. Where we're putting a full block against the shroom light. And a full block on top of the glass. Before we also make one layer onto the bricks next to it. Make sure to place a stair against that. And then glass onto the shroom light. Place a tile on the tile and then at the tile in the back actually place a brick. Then behind the blackstone stairs place another brick and place a tile behind that. Then on the other side repeat the pattern. Then go to the middle and place a normal stair there. With the shroom lights behind it. Then place an upside down spruce stair on the inside of the building. If you walk to the right, there should be like three holes. The last one you actually need to fill up with a shroom light. And then you can repeat the pattern with the spruce stairs and slabs on this side as well. And of course, on the other side, you can just use the black stone bricks to walk to the other side. And of course, don't forget to place the stair and the slab against the wood pillar, like you did on the other side. And now on top, you're gonna lay down this pattern with dark oak blanks. Then you're gonna place a deep slate tile in the corner there and a deep slate tile against the wood at the bubble elevator. Then you place full blocks around it and against the wood near the shroom light you actually place a stair. And then you place two more at the back. Don't forget to place stained glass on top of the shroom light. Then we place a full block next to it and also on the glass and on the front we place a stair. You place a brick in the back, dark brick on, of course, the brick side, and orange stained paint glass in the middle. And then we place one tile on all the other tiles we already have on this layer. We also place another brick on top of the brick. On the other side, we also place another brick. And place three tiles on the blocks right in front of you. Then we put one next and next, so you have this pattern that you see here. Then we're going to the back of the building where we're gonna place a stair and four full blocks. Then we, we place one block diagonally with a slab on top, which we can use to put again four blocks against. Then you place one more next to it and you place one on the ground. Then you do one diagonally and then you pillar those up so it's all in the same height. Then you go up one block and a slab, and you go to the other side where you also place a slab. Then you go back to the other side again, where you place a slab towards you on the diagonal block. A full block on top of that, and a stair towards you on top of that. Against that you make a pillar of black stone tree high, and then a stair facing towards the middle. Then you go to the other side, where you make a 2 by 3 pillar of the tiles. And the outer pillar, you will add one block and a stair. Then again you make a pillar of 3 black stone bricks with a stair on top. So you basically have the same pattern on both sides. Then you place a blackstone brick in the left corner against the slab. And place a blackstone stair on top and against it. Then a slab against it. A blackstone brick on the other side, and there you also place the stairs. 
They were going to the woods after, uh, behind it. They were going to place a temporary block. And they were going to place shroom lights on top. Basically, you can keep those all on the same level. Uh, but on the right side, on the left side, I did make them too higher. Then I want you to fill this row up with orange stained glass. Do the same with the next row. But don't place one on the most right block. Then make another row of orange stained glass. Then go one inwards on both sides and make another row. And make this too high. Then make another row but leave the right one empty. And then make another one, but leave the left one empty. Then we're going to the outside where we're going to make the swirly thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to aim towards the corner there and I'm going to place upside down stair. In the other top corner, I'm going to place a normal stair and then I'm going to place a slab in between. I'm going to place a slab underneath the stair on the right side and a stair against it on the left. You place an extra orange stained glass in the corner there, and there against it you place upside down stair. On the right side you do the same. Now you're going to place a stair diagonal down from the other stair in the middle. And you're going to place a full block underneath it. And you place a stair underneath it facing the other side and against it on the right side also another stair then diagonally up you place an upside down stair and then you can place a normal stair underneath it so you can get this shape then we are going to the right side here we make a pillar of a block a stair and a block diagonal from the other pillars The next diagonal, you're going to place two full blocks and then again a stair also facing the same way. And you are going to place the same tower next to it. But you place a stair in front of it. Then we place three deep slate bricks on top of the deep slate bricks. And one brick behind the brick and the stairs. On the other side, place a full block against it and underneath an upside down stair. Place two blackstone bricks on top of the blackstone brick and place upside down stair on the outside. Then repeat this on the other side. Put the orange glass pane on the orange glass pane and then put a full block of deep side brick on top. Repeat here the pattern we had at the other side of two bricks and then uh, the stair. Then place a tile stair against the brick. And make a two by two wall behind it. And place two stairs on top of it. Now place deep slate bricks on the deep slate bricks and blackstone brick on the blackstone bricks and put the deep slate brick between them. Behind that on the inside I want you to place three walls and then we're going back to the corner. Here we're going to place uh, the, the tiles on top of the glass. 
uh, on the inside two tiles and then above the gap. And we do one more row on top. On the right side of these towers, we also have tiles. There you also make a row totally up. And then next to that one on the front of the building, you do the same. And then you make a five by two high wall next to it, like this. You place a slab on the left side of that wall and on the right side of that wall. Place a block against the wall and on the right side next to it before placing deep slate tiles on all the deep slate tiles, except for the one on the outside, but you fill in the one in the middle. And then diagonally, you place a slab on the outer lines and the stair against the most right one. Then we place two more full blocks here and here before making a row with shroom lights on the back. Then we're gonna place a back stone brick on the right side and on the left against the slabs. We place a stair looking inwards on both sides and a slab in the middle. Then we place a full block behind the slab so it looks the same on the other side as with the other block. And then we're gonna cover all the shroom lights with orange stained glass. And then we do the same for a second row. Then from right to left, we're gonna skip two blocks, place the orange glass and leave the last block open. Now add another three rows rows from these. Now skip one, place two orange stained glass and then place two deep slate tiles. The first one you actually skipped, place also a deep slate tile there. Then place a black stone stair on top of the black stone there and place one upside down on the outside. Next to it, place a normal tile. Then place two black stone bricks and of course a stair on top. In the left corner of the orange stained glass, we place an upside down a stair. And against the deep slate above it, we place one the right way. Then against the orange stained glass in the left corner up, we're going to place upside down stair and we fill it up with a black stone slab. Now we're going back to the last stair we placed that was right and then we place a slab underneath. Against it, we should be able to place a normal stair again. On the right corner, we're going to place an upside down black stone stair. And then we're going to recreate the same pattern as we have on the other side. Diagonal down to the right of the stair in the middle, we're going to place another stair and a full block underneath with an upside down stair underneath that. Then from left to right, we're going to place a stair against that stair. Then diagonal, we're going to place a stair upside down and then we can place the other stair. Now on the inside, we're going to lay down a row of eight tiles. 
and we make a little starry thing with them. That's just easier for the build. Then we're going to go to the right corner here and we're actually going to pillar up four blocks. Then we place two behind them on the inside and we place a stair on top. Then go down in that corner. Make a pillar next to it that's not as, just as high, but then put a stair on top of that. And place a brick against the stair. Against that tower place a brick and against that brick you can place another brick. Then on top you can place another stair. Behind the stair you can make the same tower as next to it. Then place a second row of deep slate bricks. And a third row, but also place one more block on the inside. And after that, make another row on top. Then behind you, place a stair towards you. Next to the deep slate brick, you place another one, and then a tile, and then another brick. And a stair next to it, facing the inside. Then in the corner, you're going to place a two by three deep slate bricks. Then you're going to jump down and on the outer walls, you're actually going to place a deep slate brick. And you're going to place a shroom light on the deep slate brick on top of the glass panes. On the inside you place the trapdoor against it. Then next to the shroom light you place two blackstone bricks. In front of these you place three blackstone stairs upside down. And then you're going to the left where you're gonna place the deep slate bricks on top of the deep slate and then at the end you place an upside down stair against it. The last three blocks you will also pillar up too high so you get the shape like this. Then we place deep slate on deep slate, blackstone on blackstone and deep slate on deep slate and we put orange stained glass between the blackstone. On the inside against the blackstone we place full blocks then walls and then a full block in the middle. And then we start putting deep slate bricks on deep slate bricks again. And then we jump down into the building. Here we finish off the wall on the left side and on the right. We place a row of bricks in the middle. And we pillar up with four deep slate tiles on this smooth block we have right. On top of that we place a stair facing outwards. Then on the smooth block we place a tile, but behind it we actually place another swoon light. From this deep slate tile we actually make a wall. Going 9 wide and 4 high. And then we make, make another wall 8 by 3 on top of that. And then we do another row of seven, but leave the left one open. 
and then we do another row. Then on the inside, diagonally up of the stair that we recently placed, you're going to place another block with another block and a stair on top of that. Now in between these crevices, you again make a pillar of four blocks and then place a full block behind it against the glass. Don't forget to fill it up underneath. And place a stair on top of that. And to replace one of the stained glass with deep side tile. Then on the other dent with the, uh, the stained glass, you can place another deep side tile. And then jump down there on that side. Now place a full block there in the corner. And pillar up three more high. Then go one block inward and go three high again. Then place the deep side tile behind it on top of that and then a stair on top. So it should look like this. Then you're gonna place uh, two deep slate tiles against the deep slate tiles on the right. So you have the same pattern and then you pillar up and you actually do the same here as well. But then you place on top a stair. Then you jump down a ledge to place a block against it and a stair on top of it. Then behind it you again place a two deep side tiles plus a stair. And you can place a normal block against that. Then you go down and again, place another block against it. And now you pillar up three blocks before you go back and then pillar up three blocks again. Now drop one ledge down again, place a block and put four more blocks next to it. Then place a block on the middle tree. And then one more block on top of that. In the middle, plus stairs on the side, each walking to the outside. And then fill up the back with deep slate bricks. Like you see here. And then you can jump down again. So we can connect all of it up. Start by placing a tile against the glass. And place two diagonal from that on the other tile with a stair on top. Then jump down on the block we previously placed and pillar up one more. And make a three high pillar on the glass. Place a tile behind it and on that tile place another tile and then a stair. Then drop it down two ledges. Place a tile on our height against the side. And place a block on top of that. Then place a three height tower behind it. And a stair on top. And on the inside you place another brick. And there on the side another brick. So you can basically fill this all up. And then you jump down two ledges again. On the side you place two more deep slide tiles. And a stair against it. Underneath this stair also needs to be a full block. Next to that block also needs to be a block. And then you can just pillar the other one back and you just fill the rest up with normal bricks and stair. So it looks like this. Then we place a row of deep side tiles. And then we place upside down stairs on the inside. We also do this on the opposite side. So that it's gonna look like this. And of course we're gonna do the deep side tiles on the other side. So we actually have like the same figure. This does mean that we still have some space on the side here. This you can just fill up with a deep slate tiles like this. And just leave the gap open. That's for later. you're gonna hop onto the roof and you're actually gonna place more deep side tiles here. And now you need to make the following pattern with the deep side tiles. Now 
Now I want you to fill up the hole you see in the back. And I want you to place deep side tiles on the orange glass and place slabs on the sides, on both sides of the building. Then I want you to wrap around the building like this. And in the corners I want you to place stairs that are facing towards the sides of the building. If you look at it from the front or the back. Then we jump down onto the planks and we place uh, full planks so we can close this all off. You might want to put uh, some light on here. Uh, you can also make this your storage, but that's uh, what you want to do with it. Now on top of the deep side tiles here, I want you to place only stairs in a square, except for the corners. There I want you to place like the full bricks only on the ones on the side. I want you to place a block on the deep side tile and then pillar over it to the other side. Then you can just fill this up with another row, place one more tile on the stair and place a shroom light against it. Place a spruce wood stair on upside down against it on the outside and then again repeat with the deep side tiles and repeat it on the other side. Then I want you to place three stained glass on top of the shroom light like this. And then I want you to place the tiles on top of the tiles. After that, I want you to place a dark oak slab against the bottom of the glass blocks on the outside like this. And do that also on the other side. Then make another layer of glass and deep side tiles like we did before. On the outside of this glass, you place a fence like this. And you do that on the other side. Before making again the same rows with glass and deep slate tiles. And then I want you to place another slab on the top side of the tiles above the fences. And again, fill everything with glass and deep slate tiles, but only make the glass one white in the middle. Like this. Then I want you to place the slabs on the tiles on the lower part and on the glass on the top part. Then I want you to make a row of five deep slate tiles like this and three high in the middle. Of course, also do this on the other side. Now I want you to jump down and we're first going to do the interior before we're going to do the roof. Here we're going to use the oak to make like this zigzag pattern that you see here. Now where the support beams come together, I want you to place the stripped dark oak wood logs. And on the side of the sacrifice pit, I want you to place a fence. I recommend hanging some lanterns from the ceiling at the entrance, purely for the light that we don't have any scary mobs uh, spawning in here. I also recommend doing that in the back. Now on the first floor, we're just gonna place uh, two beds and then we're just gonna like give them a nightstand and like a surrounding for the bed. We can put some candles there as well, just for some aesthetic. Opposite of the bed at the hole, you actually place another fence. And then here in the corner, you can pillar up some barrels like this. Place a block of deep slate 
tiles in the corner so it looks even with the other side. Then we're going to make a cabinet out of doors and trap doors like this. Now that the closet is do done, we can fill in uh, the back wall. And at the end, you can just jump down on the closet. Uh, place some uh, trapdoors on top. So that it's all closed off. If you want, you can change up the balcony and make it a little bit more even. Like this. Now, to make sure you don't fall off, I do recommend placing something here. So I would say place two fences on the side and then Use bars to really block it off. Now behind in the bedroom you can actually make like a little a dead altar. So place a skull, place some blood, uh, do something with it, make it pretty. Now I'm actually uh, putting a goat in here uh, as a sacrifice. You can put in there what you want. Uh, the reason for the fence upstairs is because the other one downstairs is too low and this makes it feel like it's actually hanging from there. Then we're going to start with the right roof. You're going to place the purple blocks uh, like I'm positioning them here, the orange blocks, the temporary blocks that you do need to move. So basically the dark purple actually go on the iron bars. After this, you can pick out one or two uh, purple blocks like I did. This is purple concrete and purple wool. And you can fill them in with a pattern like this. Just follow it along. It's better to just watch than me having to explain you where every block goes. And then it's time we go to the front. Here we place the purple block above the block before it. 
and we follow along this pattern. So now that your roof is all done, you can uh, jump down and you can actually place a lantern like here in the middle. And if you want your perfectionist like me, you can also fill in uh, the middle of the roof with purple concrete or wool. For the left roof, we're actually going to place three purple blocks for the hole and one diagonal. And then we're go actually going to go down, as you can see here. Just try to follow the pattern along. So the outside is the dark purple and everything in is going to be a lighter color purple with concrete or wool in my case. Then I want you to go to the front window and place the blue terracotta like diagonal down from the fence and do that on both sides and also on the back. Then begin to place your light purple blocks on the row above the stairs. But on the outside do the dark uh, blue terracotta block. I believe I called that the dark purple before, sorry. Then place a block against the outside of the scaffolding and you actually repeat the same thing. And add another row on top of that. Now you can place another block on top of your scaffolding and you can make the same row again. Make sure to keep the dark uh, blue terracotta or the dark purple on the outside. 
and a pillar up and do that row one more time. Make another row on the deep side tiles, the same as you did before. And also on the next layer of this slate tile. And we also do that in the middle and of course on the other side of the building. So yeah, this was my tutorial about this haunted mansion. I hope you have uh, liked it. It was useful for you. Um, if you want to see more of this, please consider subscribing. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you need more help with something, please leave it down in the comments. And I will see what I can build for you. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.